What's new in Music SDP 1.1.0? First and foremost, this update introduces several new tools built to give you more control over your music. The new score system. The greatly expanded score system provides unprecedented automation management for complex and powerfully sculpted performances. Build automation scores to provide a massive level of control for your projects. Send out automation messages that are as complex as you need. Scores are perfect for building pre-composed works or for managing tightly choreographed performances. The new system provides three interconnected scores, the main score, the delay score, and the repeat score. Each score provides a different type of automation control, and scores can be used in combination for even greater effect. A built-in tutorial explains how to build scores and how to use them. Instructions are provided for creators as well as for performers. Users can manually trigger automation sets, or triggering can occur automatically via pedals, keyboards, or even via the new Signal to Score module, which will be discussed in a moment. The Metabox. The Metabox is a module that allows you to load and store any saved board. This new tool has been designed to help you manage all of your project boards with ease. Load multiple boards into multiple Metaboxes to create a centralized board management space. Once loaded, boards can be viewed and closed without actually unloading them, making it easier to manage screen space. You can also control CPU management with the processing toggle. When processing is turned off, your boards will stay loaded but will no longer tax the CPU. This way, you can keep everything ready to go while only using what you need when you need it. This makes it possible to have literally hundreds of boards open while minimizing demands on your computer. You can even load a board full of metaboxes into a metabox. This means boards and boards in boards in boards is possible. The Signal to MIDI module. This turns your audio signals into MIDI data. This works with any signals and includes live inputs as well as audio from any other module. The built-in pitch tracker determines the current pitch in the signal and translates it into MIDI data. You can use the data to play a synthesizer, record your ideas into a MIDI file. You can even control your automation and scores with live instruments, making them work just like the virtual controller and keyboard. The new Signal Recorder module. This module, unlike the system board's recording tools, allows you to choose any part of your signal chain to record into an audio file. If you've ever needed to record part of your project but not all of it, this module finally gives you that power. Beyond the new control mechanisms, we've packed this update with tons of exciting new features. The board browser makes it even easier to start making music. To find the new window, navigate to the board browser tab on the system board and click it to see a list of pre-built pedal boards. Boards fall into five categories and include synthesizers, file processors, effect chains, project tools, and a series of unique combinations for taking full advantage of the modules in the system. Once a board has been selected, you can use it and save it like you would any other board. When you save the board, it will be added to your project. These pre-designed boards can help you learn more about the various modules and can introduce you to new ways of using them that you may not have imagined. The list of pre-built boards may not be extensive at the moment, but the browser will be expanded with every new update, so keep your eye out for new sets. The new Chopper module takes audio files and splits them into segments that can be reordered and rearranged. This can be an easy way to generate new drum beats from a pre-built rhythm track or for getting interesting rearrangements out of your favorite sounds. Our live and file granulators have received updates and new features to make them even more powerful and flexible. The file granulator now includes the option to have grains play from random locations within the selected region, and keyboard control has been added to both modules to allow for random pitch shifting between selected notes. The drum machine has been majorly updated and is now much leaner. You shouldn't have to compromise the size of your project just to include a drum beat, and now you won't have to. On the interface side, We've added new visual tweaks across the entire system. Better looking system tab windows means an easier to use performer view in Master Mixer. Visual changes to modules means better interfaces and a more unified look. Finally, for aspiring music SDP contributors, we've created and included new module templates to experiment with. In the New Templates folder, select the template built for the type of effect you want to make. Included templates are Filter, MIDI Tool, audio tool slash buffer filter, and synthesizer. Templates are fully functioning demonstration modules and include comments and additional code to get you started on the process of building your own modules. With all of the necessary code included, following just a few instructions means that your modules will integrate seamlessly into the larger music SDP structure. With the 1.1.0 update, we've achieved everything we wanted to in our initial plans for the project. 
Now we're looking to the future, and we'll be referring to this next step in development as Phase 2. We already have a plan in place for future updates, and we'll be addressing and implementing some more of our users' biggest requests very soon. We know what we want to add to the system two weeks, two months, and even two years beyond the 1.1 launch, and we're gearing up to make huge improvements. When we launched Music STP 1.0 on February 15th, we realized that we had something really special to share. Music STP's unique design and revolutionary approach provided a totally new method for electronic music making. Even at launch, it was already the most feature-rich, 100% free and open-source music creation software for live performance, improvisation, and experimentation that's ever been released. The 1.1.0 update is about to take it to a whole new level.